Well, hello there, and this is Auntie. 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 Y'all know I have been trying to get this thing to work for so long. I just did. Oh my God. We ain't even going to talk about it. Anyway, hey, y'all. I am sitting up here looking like a whole Christmas package. Hi, y'all. It is the first day of No Stop November, and I am going to try it again this year. Yay! If this is your first time being here, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. To all of my new subscribers, thank you all so much for joining the family. And to all of my nieces and nephews who have been here with me for the long haul. Thank you so much for your continued support. Y'all, oh my God, did y'all see the blooper? If you haven't already seen the blooper of me trying to do this video earlier, you've got to go and see the video. It's like two or three minutes long. I was trying to do Darcy and Stacy, and then my little puppy, Maisie, decided that she wanted to say something. So I have my little green tea, okay? Mm -hmm. Let me drink a little bit of that. Cheers. Clink. To no stop November. Oh, that was so good. So anyway, y'all. Hey, y'all. Okay, so as you all can tell from the thumbnail. Bitch, did I put a thumbnail on here? Or the title? <laughs> I don't know what I did. If I didn't, I'll go back and put it on here. But I want to talk about why I decided not to cover Darcy and Stacy. And I'm not going to be out here long because it's no stop November. So in order for me to continue to do these, want a video a day, um, um, I'm going to have to make them like short and sweet. Like, right? Okay, so we're going to get in here and we're going to get out, right? We're going to get in and we're going to get out like some men we know. But anyway, so <laughs> yes, I am off the hook because I'm looking like a whole package. I'm the whole package. I'm the package deal. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, the reason why I decided not to do um, a review on Darcy and her sister's show was for the same reason you all didn't want to hear me do a review on Darcy and her sister's show, Darcy and Stacy, um, the Silver Twins, whatever. I didn't. I decided not to do it because oftentimes we come out here and we read these mofos for filth, right? We go through and we break down the episodes of 90 Day Fiance before the 90 Days, 90 Day Fiance, 90 Day Fiance, Happily Ever After, and the like. Okay, and so because we do that and I do that, you know, it takes a whole lot of energy. I try to be positive. I try to um, read them for filth when it's, it, when it's absolutely necessary for me to do so. And um, I also try to sprinkle in a little bit of advice that you can use because after all, this is Auntie's Advice, channel for women. And my other channel, Auntie's Advice. So if you're not already subscribed over there, hop your ass over there and subscribe. So, you know, when you do these reviews and everything, you know, you have to bring yourself in. You got to try to, you know, um, talk about all of those subject matters that are important to the viewer and um, some of those, uh, those things that are important to you as well. So when I looked at the Darcy sisters, I said, you know what, let me go ahead and try this. Now, as we all know, TLC is monopolizing the f out of everybody's time. You know, really, I heard someone else say it and I, I agree with them. Um, they said that, you know, on Sundays, night, um, 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 TLC takes three hours away from your time, okay? They have 90 Day Fiance the other way or not happily after after, that's two hours. And then they go into a pillow talk, which is something that myself and other content creators have been doing 
from day A. We've been the one who's been reviewing it. They've also thrown in some new show called 90 Day, um, where the stars, I mean, the cast members come out and talk about it. Like, that's monopolizing a whole lot of your time. And so when I look at these shows now, I have to look at them and make a decision, you know, whether or not I'm going to cover them and whether or not you all are even interested in me covering those damn shows, right? And so when I looked at Darcy... Um, from day A, as you all know, back in the day day when when Darcy, when the first year Darcy appeared on 90 Day Fiance, I had the opportunity to interview Jesse Meister. I am going to try to put that video on here, but I'm an old bitch, so I don't know how successful I'm going to be at doing it. But anyway, you can go to Auntie's Advice channel and check it out. Interview Auntie interviews with Jesse Meister. At that time, Darcy was new to the screen, so was Jesse, and Darcy had, you know, went to go and visit him and all that kind of stuff and was drinking alcohol, and it seemed that, you know, he was, you know, extremely controlling. He had said some things that, you know, people just really won't feel him, right? And so, as a result of Jesse doing that, I decided, you know, I did not believe the storyline. I didn't believe what I was seeing on TV. So, I thought, you know what, let me give this mofo an opportunity to clear his name. Well, needless to say, the bitch came on in and told a whole bunch of lies because as the episodes begin to play out, we begin to really see the real Jesse Meister. And so as a result of seeing the real Jesse Meister, I came back out a couple of weeks later and, you know, read him for filth. And I'm talking about dog filth, right? And so the relationship between Jesse and I um, um, ended, okay? And it was a relationship I needed to end. Um, frankly, to be honest, because even now when I see Jess, Jesse, you know, um, always inserting himself in Darcy's affairs and stuff like that, I, I, I just, you know, I have no respect for him whatsoever. But anyway, the next time we see Darcy, she's dating an individual by the name of Tom. And we don't know how many mofos that Darcy has dated in between them. We just know the ones that's made it to television. But anyway, she started dating this individual named Tom, who she alleges was her friend at first, right? Hold on, y'all. Let me sit up straight so y'all can get the whole package. <laughs> okay. So anyway, Darcy, you know, started dating Tom. And of course, she was the same train wreck, in my opinion that we all had become accustomed to looking at. And then on top of that, she started adding her sister, Stacy into the mix, who was dating an individual by the name of Florian. So when I looked at the combination of these two women, and I thought about myself and you, I thought, Auntie, why the hell would you sit out here week after week after week and tear this woman down to shreds? She does it on her own. Now, I have been looking at social media. I've been looking at Instagram. Sometimes I look at other um, um, social media people. I mean, like YouTubers. Most of the time, and I don't. Hi, West Sock. I look at West Sock, though. Okay. Hi, cutie. Um, but anyway, so, I, I, you know, I look at them, and I saw that, number one, Florian had cheated on Stacy. Darcy and her dad knew about Florian cheating on Stacy. And Stacey married him anyway. Darcy's dating some guy from Washington, D.C. And thinks that he has brought her some flowers from some country. And he traveled four hours, three and a half maybe, to New York. Where the did he get the flowers from? Then we see that Darcy's engaged to this mofo. Now on social media... The two of them are, are unfollowing one another. And, in an, and they're angry. And then I find out that not only are they on social media breaking up and, and unfollowing and following and all that kind of stuff, I find out that the mofo was married. When he <laughs> was full-fledged married when he was with Darcy. And so again, why didn't I cover it? Because this is not indicative, okay? And it does not describe, and it does not represent the everyday woman. This bull crap right here, 
that Darcy and her sister find themselves in, in my opinion, are women who are broken, lost, and ready to be tossed. These women, in my opinion, represent the worst of who we are as women. Point blank and to the period. So why would I, being the auntie that I am, come out here week after week and tear these sisters down when we need to be trying to build one another up? There was nothing good that I can say about these moms, about these girlfriends, these wives, these sisters. I saw two sisters who were totally at war with one another. In the beginning, I watched the very first episode. I did give myself that opportunity. I watched the very first episode, and in that very first episode, Darcy and her sister began to talk about how they were bullied in school, how they were outcast by the other people. And this is probably why, you know, because they had dark hair, dark features. They just didn't like the way that they looked. Well, hell, I got dark hair and dark features, and I love, bitch, I love this woman right here. But when I began to listen to them and them talk about the bullying and the isolation, the rejection that they experienced in school, I then understood their relationship with one another. These two sisters bully one another. They have taken the very behavior that they thought was inappropriate and broke them down and they are now perpetrating that same behavior onto each other. We can say that it's competitiveness. Absolutely, we can say that they compete with one another. But in my opinion, I saw two women who wanted to continue to bully one another, to, to, to talk about the way that someone looks or their outfits or um, their boyfriend, their selection in men. And I just was like, I cannot be a part of that, given the fact that I already will read a bitch fulfilled anyway on a regular. Let me check out this super chat. Thank you so much, Enu Blue, for the five dollar super chat. Love you, Auntie. Love you too. These two sisters are bullying one another. They are doing the same thing that happened to them in elementary, middle school, and high school when they should be sisters with like minds and like hearts, support one another, endorse one another, they do the absolute opposite. If one of them got dirt on the other one, they make sure that they smear it in their faces. Even given the fact that Darcy knew that this young man was dating on her sister, was cheating on her sister, instead of her taking that information directly to her sister, she made it go all the way around the neighborhood to cause her sister further embarrassment, in my opinion. What sister, what twin does that? If you have the heart of your sister and the heart of your twin, then guess what you're going to do? You're going to be ride or die for them. Darcy called this, this individual woman on the telephone and began to berate the woman and try to, you know, force this woman to say something that the woman did not want to say. And for what? To throw it up in her face? To, to, because she's jealous and angry? Because she, at the time, didn't have that? And then as soon as Darcy gets with someone, Stacy's the same way. Where is the sisterhood in that? See, a lot of times we come out here, and like I said, I read them for filth. But we're talking about the show. We're talking about what it is that we see on television. But me as a woman with all good consciousness, I just could not cover that show. And I thought that a lot of it was fake. Directly after the episode ends, there's a People Magazine article that is done indicating that 
Darcy is engaged to this alleged married man. And now they're on social media unfollowing one another. What a kawinky dinky. Let me tell you something, women. Boys and girls, come around, gather around, and sit on Auntie's sofa. Your life is more than this. The antagonizing, the bullying, the competing. Let me put my glasses on. Thank you so much, Ronnie, for the $4.99 super chat. You always keep it real, Auntie. Love you for that. Those women need to have a conversation with you and get themselves together. <laughs> Thank you, sweetie. So anyway, I feel like the, let me just say this because I'm going to be doing this for the whole month of November. I'm going to be giving my opinion. These are my opinions and my views. Doesn't make them right and it doesn't make them wrong. So when we make comments, when we have comments in the comments section, there's no need for you to try to change my mind because I'm not going to try to change yours. These are my opinions. Point blank, period, poo. And I believe that the sisters don't encourage one another. I believe that the sisters have very low self-esteem and do not represent me or most of the women who follow me on this channel. Now, if you see yourself in those shoes, that's your problem. If you see yourself being able to understand, to, 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 to um, um, sympathize with them, that's on you. That's totally on you. But I've never lived my life like that, and so I can't understand it. And because I can't understand it, and I've never lived my life like that, and I don't believe that that is the way that a woman should represent herself with a man, multiple men, one of the men I interviewed that she was dating at the same time that she was dating this guy, allegedly, who she was... who allegedly she was sending pictures to. I don't see this woman, either of them, being anything positive. They definitely wouldn't be women that I would want my daughter to emulate. And I'm hoping that they're not women that you would want your daughter to emulate. But at the end of the day, when I saw their raggedy asses, Okay, so I'm going to get dirty now. When I saw their raggedy asses year after year running up and down from country to country, coast to coast, over the Atlantic, the Pacific, and Samoa Oceans, I saw them as two desperate ass women that I knew I would never be able to say anything positive about. It's my opinion. And that is why I did not cover this show. Because when people get their feet stepped on, uh-huh, when women get their feet stepped on because they recognize that behavior as their own behavior, then they want to, you know, get in their feelings and justify. And, and, and you can't justify that behavior. Every time you turn around, this woman is sitting up on the screen crying and bawling her eyes out. When I saw Florian, it was a clip that I saw Florian in, disrespect Stacy because something was broken on the car. 
I said, the fuck? What's going on here? Why is it that this woman is allowing this man to talk to her this way? COVID or no COVID? She didn't even invite her sister to her wedding. She snuck away and eloped. And these women are responsible for other human beings. Let that marinate. They're responsible for other human beings. And because I wanted to be responsible to my daughter, I chose not to do this because I knew that I would have to dig down into the very depths of hell to describe the things that I've seen on this show with these two women who don't seem to have the self-esteem bitch of an act running behind these men and accepting all kinds of manner of behavior from them. All out of the name and, and all because I just got to have a man. I don't care if he a piece of a man, half of a man. I don't care if I got to be the other half of that man. I want a man. See, because when you don't make that man stand up in his, his grown man, then you become half of who he is. And that is not our role as women. Period, Poe. That's not our role to take on masculine attributes and masculine characteristics and masculine duties because our men, the men that we choose to have in our lives, won't do that. That's not our job. Our job, we gonna have to talk about another day. Maybe we'll get into that subject matter in no stop, non-stop November. But the reason why ultimately that I decided not to do this show is because I knew that I would have to get out here week after week and talk negatively about these two women week after week. I knew that there was not going to be anything about these bitches that I was going to be able to say that would encourage your damn life. <laughs> And so I decided not to cover Darcy and Stacy. Stacy, I wish them the best and their children. I wish them the best with their men, <laughs> with their careers, whatever it is. I don't know if they're going to continue to do 90 Day Fiance for the next fucking 50 years or not. But I absolutely wish them the best as I do you. If you find yourself being a Darcy and a Stacy, there is a way out. There is a way for you to start building up your self-esteem and, 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 and choosing yourself first. Because at the end of the day, you are enough all by yourself. Nobody completes you. You have to already come as a complete package. Love does not hurt in that way. It's kind, it's gentle. It is not what we see, in my opinion, Darcy and Stacy showing us on that in television screen. So in closing, ladies, welcome to No Stop, Nonstop November, where you're going to get auntie at her rawest. <laughs> and I'm going to continue to bundle myself up as a cute little package. I love you all to pieces. This is the end of my um, video. I am now going to put my mommy hat on and I'm going to look at Chantel and Pedro, the family Chantel, and I will be on my other channel tomorrow, Auntie's Advice, and we will be discussing that. I love you all to pieces. Have a great night, y'all. Let me know in the comments what you think. 
Let me know in the comments what you think. Was I right? Or was I wrong? Or maybe Maisie was the one that was right. Love y'all.